Hi guys, Kylie here and today we are going to be taking a look at the Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition Chroma V2. So inside the box, you have the usual welcome note, your user manual, the cable, wrist rest as well as the keyboard itself. The TE is a compact keyboard with a 10 keyless design, which basically means that you don't have the numpad, and also has a detachable USB cable. And the keyboard uses Razer's own mechanical switches that are very precise and have optimized actuation and reset points and a lifespan of up to 80 million keystrokes. This keyboard comes with three different switch options, green, which is tactile and clicky, which means that you feel a bump when you press it and it's also pretty noisy. So the greens would be very similar to your cherry blue switches. The second option would be your orange switch, which is tactile but silent, which means that you feel the bump but it's a lot quieter than your green switches. And this one would be close to your cherry browns. And lastly, you have the yellow switches, which is linear and silent, which means that there's no bump when you press it and it's also very quiet. This switch would be very similar to your cherry speed silver switch. So the one that we have over here is the orange switch. The keyboard comes with fully programmable keys with macro recording functions as well as something called instant trigger technology which basically means that it sends the signal to your system without any delays. There is 10 key rollover anti-ghosting and comes with Razer Chroma backlighting and this is also Razer Synapse enabled which means that you can use the software to do things like turn on a gaming mode which basically disables certain keys so that you don't press them by accident while gaming and there's also something called Chroma Apps which lets you sync and make use of the RGB lighting by controlling the light effects based on what games you play so for example for Overwatch it turns your keyboard orange when you're in a game or it changes the colour of the lighting to match whatever hero that you are currently playing. So the keyboard feels pretty light, which is good because it's meant to be a portable keyboard. The keyboard also comes with this removable magnetic wrist rest, which is very easy for you to pick out and put on whenever you want to. This also comes with a detachable USB cable, which is really good because then you don't have like an awkward cable sticking out on the top of your keyboard because this keyboard is called Tournament Edition. So it's meant for people to bring around for their competitions and stuff. And also if like, you know, you're a general drummer folk that likes to use your own keyboard wherever you go. So now we're going to be comparing the Black Widow Chroma V2 full-size version, which I have here on my left and the TE version which I have here on my right. So firstly, these two keyboards come with three different switches, the green, orange and yellow, and they both have Razer Chroma lighting as well as the wrist rest. Now you can see that the TE version is obviously quite a bit smaller than the full-size version. The length is way shorter, the width is slightly shorter as well, and the height is about the same, but the full-size version is just very slightly, maybe about 1 or 2 mm higher than the TE version. The full-size version also has a 3.5 mm jack and a USB port on the side, and a non-detachable cable. The TE version comes in a quartz pink colour as well, although it only has a green switch, but the full-size version only comes in black, unfortunately. I really really like the TE version a lot because it frees up your desk space and is very compact. I also like the detachable cable because personally for me, I do use my table for other stuff so it, it would be really nice to be able to plug up my keyboard and shift it somewhere else which gives me like a lot of space on my table. If you can live without the numpad, I think the TE version would be a really good choice because just because it's so compact and helps you to save so much space. And honestly, I don't really think a lot of people would need a numpad unless you're playing a game like Casher Simulator or something. And although it would be really great to have an audio jack on your keyboard, but I wouldn't say that it's super important, or not to me anyway. And the features 
that the TE has like the instant trigger technology and having options for yellow switches also give you a slight advantage especially if you're playing competitive games because every millisecond counts, right? So yellow switches would basically let you press keys a lot faster than other people who are not using yellow switches. However, at SGD219, the keyboard is a little bit pricey, although you are paying for quality, performance, comfort, because this wrist rest is honestly one of the most comfortable things I've ever touched. Like, I would totally use it as a pillow if I could. And also, looks-wise, it looks really nice, very minimalistic, very sleek. And I just generally like the entire simple look that this keyboard has. So that's it for our review of the Black Widow Tournament Edition Chroma V2. Leave a comment below to let us know what you think of the keyboard. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!